Hello, welcome to the podcast, OK Karen. OK Karen. And we are Betsy and Angela, and we yes. are here for a special bonus. We're going to do some bonus episodes. Bonus! Um, so we are going to very briefly talk about some books that we have been reading mm-hmm. in our little book club. So I'm just going to stop you. Because we wanted a book club. <laughs> Last season, our first season, we did some movies. So yes. season two, we're going to just drop some bonuses yeah. on books. Yeah. And we might do movies also. Movies, 30-minute movies, we called it. So this is yeah. going to be a book review. Um, and the book we're going to tell you about is The Guernsey Potato Pie Peel and Literary Society. Or is literary yeah. first. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Pie, Potato Peel, Peel Pie Society. Yes. It's a mouthful. It's a lot. We don't know why the title's so long. <laughs> well, well, we do. Actually, the, it yeah, the book 100% um, explains yeah. why. So this was a book um, that I kind of randomly came upon and I was like, hey, look, the back sounds good. It got really good reviews. Let's read it. And um, we were like surprised by how much we enjoyed the book. So, oh, so good. first off the bat, like highly recommend. Um, it's about a character named Juliet, who I believe is in the, like what, her late 20s? I would put her there, late 20s. Yeah. yeah. She is right after the end of World War II. Yeah. And they actually do some flashbacks during the war. And Guernsey is a um, an island mm-hmm. um, between like along the English Channel mm-hmm. that the Nazis just occupied. came right on in and yeah, and occupied them. She was living in London at the time, mm-hmm. um, but she's kind of post-war, you know, everything's pretty depressed and she's kind of looking for stuff to write about. And she hears about kind of in the round, roundabout random way here's about this little island and how it was occupied and she didn't know anything about it during the war and it's very curious so she ends up meeting these great characters that had a literary society on the island and just how they coped through the war and about their lives and I think it's a book where like I liked all the characters like <laughs> well there I was, like, was I one I know these people yeah there was one that I didn't like and you won't like her either because that too the the society and Juliet didn't like because she kind of yeah she kind of you know tilted her nose to um but it was just a kind of a mishmash of people that got together mm-hmm. with the literary society and became friends and became support for each other during this difficult time and Juliet comes into it as an outsider but immediately is like like this feels taken like in this is my people kind of thing right know? um and so it's a, it's just a great story it is written in a way where it's letters that's what I was gonna say I loved that because when I first started it it immediately you're just reading a letter and you're thinking to yourself wait what I don't know who these people are yeah and then you read a a lot of names at first you're like yes and but by the time you're on like the fourth or fifth letter which is kind of the chapters you're you're in you just are loving it you and it's it is, it's so well written. I think mm-hmm. two women actually wrote the book. Oh, really? Um, yes. And it is, I will say, it is a movie on Netflix. I did not care for the movie only because I read the book and I yeah. loved if we, the book. If we just watched the Netflix movie, we probably I think I'd would like have it. liked it and be like, that yeah. was a cute movie. Yeah. Um, but because it, it left so much out, it just did not mm-hmm. have the depth of the book and the characters Mm-mm. are not as lovable. And I'm like, well, they didn't even have that character. Right, yeah. right. They just left yeah. out main characters. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, so I yeah, 100% we, we highly recommend this one. Yes. Right? Give it a thumbs up. Yes. Thumbs up. We don't want to spoil anything. So we're going to give you a bunch it's of It's also books, really but. not um, a thick book. It's what, like 200 and something pages. Yeah. And it goes, I mean, it's probably, I remember in our book club, I finished it first in like, I feel like five or six days. I was about um, to say, I think other you finished it in a week. Like, Betsy finished first because I'm usually right. a little slower <laughs> than other people. Uh, but I'm like, once you get to probably page 20, you're like, okay, this is super easy to read. And it's just, it's just a great and you, story. So. You want to know what happens. So you, yeah. it's hard to keep, it's hard to put it down. So yeah. yes. And that, that to me is a great book. Yes. Now I want to find out if the author wrote anything else. Cause I'm like, Oh yeah. We never looked into it. 
We didn't, but like I said, it's two women that wrote it. So, um, and they did a lot of research because, you know, it mentions a lot of the war. It doesn't go into like a lot of detail, but it does. But it's right, you know, based in like what was really happening. So, Mm -hmm. okay. So we hope you guys get a chance to read it. Let us know if you do, or if you've already read it and if you liked it, or if you disagree with us, we're open to any comments. So we'll see you next time for our next book review. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good day.